Hello everyone. So in this uh, video, we are going to understand what are expression trees. So expression trees are a kind of data structure which is basically used to uh, represent mathematical expressions. So when we describe expression using the data structure, it will take a shape of the tree. So mathematical expressions can be easily represented using the expression trees. And then we can do different kind of traversing to get a different forms of these expressions. For example, when we do uh, pre-order traversing, we can go a prefix expression. If we do in-order traversing, we can get infix expression. Similarly, we get a uh, post-order expression. So let's uh, discuss more about expression trees. So in expression tree, uh, expression is basically comprising of operands and operators. So if I say a very simple expression, if I write, if I write A plus B, this is uh, simplest expression. So this comprises of operators and operands. So when we construct a tree for this expression, we will find that the operands are always going to become a leaf. So in the expression tree, the leaves are basically represented by the operands which are used in the expression and the internal nodes are basically the operators. And uh, so if you look at this, this uh, kind of expression, you can see that this operator is actually, it's a binary operator, so it needs two operands. So when we, when we re represent any expression, which is comprising of the operators which are binary, then that can be easily represented by a binary tree. So if you look at this plus, this is a binary operator. That means it needs two operands to, uh, to, you know, to work on. So plus is basically is also unary and also minus is also unary. Multiplication is a binary. What does it mean? It means if I say minus A, it has a meaning because uh, it represents the negative value of A. So minus can also be used for subtraction. For example, if I say A minus B. So minus works with one operator. It can also, it can work with one operand. It can also work with two operands. So minus is a unary as well as binary operator. So whenever we have using uh, this operator as a binary operator we, it needs a two child for its representation so if you look at this if you look at this here we have used minus plus into all our binary operators so that means whenever we are going to use these operators it is it is using two operands to make its meaning now when we represent these kind of uh, expressions for every operator, we need two uh, operands. So if you look at this, we also follow the Bodmas rule. So if you look at this, so actually this is a bracket to be solved for. So this is actually treated as one operand. This is as a one operand and this is an operator. So we are going to make operator and then we have two operands. Now this operand itself is a expression so we can go into it and then see that how it is expressed. So this is C into D. So this is your operator and it needs two operands to represent itself. Similarly, if you go to the left part, we can see that it's A minus B. So minus is an operator and then it uses two operands to be represented. So this is a expression tree for this expression. Okay, now let's uh, move to the next part. Now, if you look at this, that how to uh, make an expression tree for such a long expression. Again, whatever expression is given to you, we always try to look as, uh, as, a, as a form of like a, a plus B, you can say means one operator and then we have two operands. So if you look at this, this, this entire bracket to be treated as a one operand, which is working with this on this operator, and this is our next operand. So we start with our tree by using this operator as a root node. And then we have something at the right child and we have something as a left child. So this is going to become a right op operand for this tree. Now, if you look at this, this itself is an expression where this act as an operator and this becomes an operand. So, okay, we'll be further. 
will make this as an operator and it has a two operands required so if you go so if you look at this this is h minus i so again this becomes i and this is h and i similarly if you look at this it comprises of this expression which itself is a uh, you know comprises of operator and operand so this internal node will be an operator and for this these are the operand so that makes the complete expression now if we look to the left part of this entire expression means this is going to become a left subtree so if you look at this this expression is itself uh, you know comprises of two two things for example this may be your uh, you know this becomes your operator and this be serving as an operand for this operator so we will be writing minus and then we have to extend in such a way that this becomes the right child or an operand now this operand itself is an expression so we can uh, go and we, we can look into it and we see that there is an operator and then we have an operand okay similarly we can look here and we can come up with this tree so uh, you can just compare that this is the tree that we have derived and this is the actual expression tree for this expression okay so let's move to the next part so being said that uh, we can do various traversal on a tree because a uh, tree is a non-linear. So here we can do pre-order, post-order and uh, in order. So if we want to get the prefix notation, we need to do a pre-order traversal. So pre-order traversal means if we traverse a tree in this format, means first you visit the root node and then the left subtree and then the right subtree, it's a pre-order. So for this, if you want to find out the pre prefix notation, we will do the pre-order traversing and the resultant will be the prefix notation. Similarly, if you look at this tree and if you do the pre-order uh, traversing, it will give you a prefix notation. So this is the prefix notation for this tree. Okay, now let us understand the, the significance of this prefix, postfix, infix notation. So already we have infix notation in place, but then what is the need of prefix and postfix? So if you look at this, uh, you can see this is A minus B plus C into D. It's, this appears okay. Now, if I uh, make something, for example, if I write expression something like this, A uh, minus B plus C into D. Something like this. So in this case, uh, how we are going to construct this? So the one of the possible tree for this is let me draw like this minus a plus b into c into d. Now, if this is a tree which is not the same like this, but if I do uh, infix for this okay now what i am saying is this is the expression given to us and now out of this expression we built this tree so this is a minus b plus c into d but if i get the infix of this so infix of this will be so infix basically represent left node right so what i will get i will get uh, left means a then node, then write, then plus C into D. So this is what we get uh, infix for this particular expression. Now, if we look here, then what actually we are going to get, if I do this and if I find the infix expression for this tree, I will get A minus B plus C into D. Now let us take one more example. Well, let me, if I write like this, A, then minus B, then plus C, then into D. Now if I am going to find the infix expression for this, then what I am going to end up with, so I am going to get this A minus B plus C into D. Now what is the observation here? Now if you look at this, sequence means if you look at to this 
this is infix this is infix this is infix and all are same but the the tree are different that means the infix expression that we are getting is not representing a unique tree not representing a unique structure okay so uh, we are actually in our mathematical uh, calculations uh, in the computation we are not using infix expression for 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 the calculation for our uh, for our solution we are rather using prefix and postfix because every prefix and every postfix represent a unique structure but here you can see that this actually represent this structure this represent this structure this represent this structure so there is a, there is a kind of ambiguity we are having here that's why uh, in a computer science all the calculations are being performed in prefix and postfix expressions so i hope you have understood the significance of prefix and postfix and why we are using prefix and postfix for uh, mathematical computations so now let us understand and we'll try to construct some more expression tree and we will trying to ensure that it will it will follow the bodmas rule what does it mean what it means for example if you want to uh, solve this 3 plus 2 into 4 then if we go just uh, blindly left to right then 3 plus uh, 2 5 into 4 is 20 but actually the answer for this must be first we have to multiply this so 3 plus 8 is equals to 11 this must be our answer because it follows the board mass rule it actually take care of the precedence of the operators it will also maintain the associativity among the operators so uh, let us see that how to build a tree that will uh, maintain that actually takes care for the precedences and associativity, associativity among the operators so let us take some examples okay so now let's uh, construct some expression tree and while constructing our expression tree, we will uh, uh, maintain our uh, precedence of these operators in the expression. So when you look at this, this is one expression given to us. Now here we can see multiple expressions are visible to us. A plus B divided by C into D minus C. And we know they have the different uh, kind of uh, precedences. So plus and minus in the in the in the same class they have the same precedence and multiply is having more now if you look to the tree in the tree we actually execute it from from you know uh, from the leaves to the root so the root actually comes at the last so when we look to these operators we always keep the at the root the operator which have the minimum precedence so if you look at this if you look at this uh, expression among all these a plus b c d minus e so plus and minus is having the minimum precedence compared to the to the you know multiply and if you if you move from left to right then this e comes this this minus comes at the last and whatever comes last or at the late we always keep it as a root so we start with minus so we will put here minus now this is an op operator and operator always needs two operands to work on so if you look at this this will become the entire thing becomes an operator sorry operand for this minus sign and this also becomes one operand so here we can just write e because this is a, only a single value it's an operand but if you look at the left hand side this entire left hand operand is itself an expression now now you can you can think this as a new question to or a new question or you can say a new tree to construct on now a plus b divided by c into d now if you look at this if i write this a plus b divided by c into d and we already discussed that we have to start with the minimum precedence operator so among this uh, we have plus we have divide we have multiply so among them we have plus is the minimum so we'll go with plus then if the plus becomes an operator then this becomes an operand and this entire remaining part becomes an op operand for this operator so this is itself is the only one we can write it here a 
but now we are left with uh, b divided by c into d okay so here we will write first that comes later so if we move from left to right this has to come later so we will first write multiply and then if you write multiply then this becomes the operate operands and this becomes the operand so this is d and here we now nothing is left only one simple expression is left write b and c so for this particular infix expression we can make this tree which basically maintains the precedences which are actually existing within this expression okay so now let's uh, take an, an, another example okay so let's talk about this example now this is again an infix expression and we want to construct a expression tree for this and we also want to maintain the precedences and associativity that is defined in this expression we know that there are multiple operators are visible here plus minus and they have the different precedences as a rule we have discussed that uh, we keep uh, the root which which is uh, of the minimum precedence and that comes at the last so if you look at this so here if you see we have plus and minus so plus and minus are of the same class and but this minus appears at the last so we start with minus and now this becomes the left operand and this becomes the right sorry uh, this becomes the right operand this becomes the left operand uh, so this operand itself is an expression so again we have to proceed in a similar manner so how to represent this expression we will look that what is the operator here so operator is here so we'll write here multiply and then h and i becomes its operand and it is actually simpler here but if you look at this left part left part is this one now in this part this is itself an expression now we have to see that uh, how to expand our tree so for expansion we have to uh, take the operator which is having the minimum precedence so if you look at the sequence we are come across with this plus so we'll make this plus here and then we are left the right side g and left side we are left with this entire expression now if you look at this here we see the minimum uh, precedence of the operator is plus so we'll take this plus now when we take this plus what is left with us we are left with this thing as a as a left side and uh, sorry at the right side and this thing as a left side so now we have d divided by e into f so if you look into the sequence left to right this this operator works in the left to right so this comes late so we will be going to write multiply here so here we have f as an operand and here again we have a simple expression so this becomes the operator and this becomes the operand now similarly if we look here so this divide comes later so we'll write here divide sign and then we write here c and then we write here a into b so this is the expression tree for uh, this uh, infix expression and we have constructed this tree keeping in mind this precedence and associativity so uh, yes we are uh, constructing here but in our real mathematical calculations on on the computers we actually uh, provide the postfix and prefix so internally whenever we we, pro we provide any infix expression the computer will will convert into a postfix and prefix because the postfix and prefix is carrying within itself all the precedences of these operators and for every expression of the prefix and postfix will always come up with a unique tree as we have discussed that for the infix expression there are multiple trees are possible and that creates an ambiguity so this is all for the session and in the next video we are going to see that how we can construct a tree using any of the expression like if we are giving a prefix expression then how to construct a tree or if we are giving a postfix expression how to construct a tree so this is all for this video thank you very much